What's up guys, I'm Ira Shell and this is The End Times. Jesus told us that when we saw certain events take place, we would know that he was coming to get us very soon. But people sometimes, they take these events and they claim that they are currently happening or that they've already happened just so that they can prove their own beliefs true. In other words, they bend the Bible to fit their own beliefs instead of bending their beliefs to fit the Bible. Now one of those verses that people use is Luke chapter 21 verse 20 through 24. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let those who are inside the city depart, and let not those who are out in the country enter it. For these are days of vengeance to fulfill all that is written. Alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infant in those days. For there will be great distress upon the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. These verses are used to prove that those who claim to be Jews currently living in Israel or has ancestors from Israel aren't actually the real Jews, but instead they're Gentiles posing as Jews. Others claim that this took place during the reign of King Antiochus the Fourth Epiphanes of Greece because he set up a statue of Zeus and sacrificed a pig on the altar. Here's the main problem with both of these claims. These verses haven't taken place yet. These verses are talking about the Great Tribulation after the abomination of desolation is set up in the temple of God in Jerusalem. Matthew confirms this in Matthew chapter 24 verse 15 through 27. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down to take what is in his house. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now. No and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand, so if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Notice the connection. Both of these verses are during the same conversation of Jesus warning his disciples of the signs of his second coming. Both of these verses are two different biblical authors, Matthew and Luke, recording the same time period Jesus described to his disciples on the Mount of Olives. As we stated in previous videos, specifically our video, The Great Tribulation, which is under our The End Times category. The Great Tribulation is the time period that the man of lawlessness reigns over the earth from Israel and declares to be God. Right before this time, the beasts... His followers, they set up the abomination of desolation within the temple of God in Jerusalem. The reign of the man of lawlessness is set for three and a half years. But as Jesus states in verse 22 of Matthew chapter 24, those days are cut short for the sake of the elect, for the sake of his people, for the sake of Christians. On, and if it hadn't been cut short, no one would be saved. In other words, no one would be following Christ. Not No one would be saved because of all death and everyone would be dead. No, that's not the goal. 
The goal is to have everyone worshipping the man of lawlessness. And if those days hadn't been cut short, that would be the case. Now this is the time that Israel is trampled underfoot of the Gentiles because non-Jews will come into Jerusalem and overtake all of Israel. Alright, let's go back a little bit. Israel will be divided by the beast and given to ten kings according to Daniel chapter 7 verse 19 through 22, Daniel 11 36 through 39, and Revelation 17 9 through 14. According to Revelation 17 verses 8 through 14, they, the ten kings, gave all of their authority to the beast out of the bottomless pit, who we have deemed Abaddon. For more on Abaddon, check out our video, Who is Abaddon, the Angel of the Bottomless Pit, which is under our The End Times category. Now, sometimes after they give their authority to Abaddon, I presume it's them that, that have the image of the beast or the abomination of desolation set up in the temple of God in Jerusalem. Shortly after that, the man of lawlessness rises to power and three of them fall to him. Now, his reign, the man of lawlessness, is set for three and a half years, but it's cut short by the coming of Jesus. Jesus actually kills him with just his breath alone and the appearance of his coming, according to Paul's writings. At this time, the rapture takes place, which we went into great detail about in our video, The Rapture, which is under our The End Times category. Now, before any of you get upset or say this isn't true, let me just read two verses of scripture for you. The first one is Jesus speaking. Matthew chapter 24, verse 29 through 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds from the from one end of heaven to the other now before you argue that well that was a jew speaking to jews i i want you to understand that he wasn't the only one who said that paul the apostle to the gentiles said the exact same thing. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 1 through 4. Now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, we ask you brothers not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by a spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of God proclaiming himself to be God. Both Jesus and Paul assures us that Jesus won't come back until it's time to reveal who the man of lawlessness is. And according to verse 8, Paul tells us that Jesus' appearance and breath will bring him to nothing. In other words, the appearance of Christ will, will kill him. So contrary to church tradition, the rapture doesn't take place before the Great Tribulation, but instead it takes place immediately after the Great Tribulation, as both Jesus and Paul explain. If we read Daniel 7 carefully, we'll see that Daniel confirms this as well. For more on Daniel 7, check out our video series, The Four Beasts of Daniel 7, which is under our The End Times category. So just to sum everything up for you guys, Israel is currently not being trampled underfoot of the Gentiles. This doesn't take, take place until the abomination of desolation is set up in the temple of God in Jerusalem and the man of lawlessness has begun to reign. During this time, there will be great tribulation that has never been on the earth and will never be again. Immediately after this, Jesus returns for his bride and destroys the man of lawlessness with his appearance and breath alone. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.